Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at another premium Bandai HG Gundam kit here. It's the gym, but not just any gym. This is the Kukaro's Duan's Island version, the Moroccan front type gym here. So after taking a look at the I Love RGM 2 book recently, I thought I really want to build this kit now. Uh, so this one is one that just recently came out though in the HG uh, Premium Bandai lineup here, but it does look like a really cool version there of the gym. It has some awesome equipment to it. It's basically like the uh, RX-7802, like the HG The Origin Gundam, but like the gym version of that, if that makes sense. So let's get into it here for today's video. Alright, so starting off with the box here, with this being a premium Bandai box, as always, there's not going to be much to see around on the outside. We don't have any photos of the kit or anything like that, other than what we've got here on the front, which is a pretty cool look at a couple of gyms there fighting in this cool action scene. You can kind of see a bit of the specialized equipment that they have here in the background, basically that cannon, over-the-shoulder cannon there from the Gundam, from the Origin version of the Gundam. And we can just go ahead and dive right into the box here. So it looks like we're going to have a few stickers, unfortunately no uh, water slides or anything like that, but let's go ahead and check out the instruction manual, which is going to be just a black and white manual here, so no full color anything in this. We probably will have a little bit of, yeah, okay, so larger photos than I expected. So we got a couple of nice big photos of the kit just as your decal guide right here, but unfortunately it's just all in black and white, so there is a color guide that you can refer to, and that is in Japanese and in English, but it's not any, I mean, obviously nothing's actually in color here in the manual. Unfortunately, if you want to check out the official colors and everything, you'll have to check out some photos online if you're wanting to recreate the official color scheme for this. But there's our parts list, and it looks like there's a couple of X's on there. We'll have maybe a couple of leftover parts here and there, but not really too much. Otherwise, everything in here is just going to be going through the general construction of the kit. So it should all be pretty straightforward. Like I said, probably going to be very similar to building a standard HG The Origins model kit. But here's a look at our foil stickers for the kit, which are pretty interesting and in that's mostly for like camera bits and these color correcting bits for like on the joints are kind of cool because they're gray, but they have the kind of mirror metallic finish detail on there. So those are probably going to look pretty cool on the kit. We'll see how those look. Much, much more importantly is water slide decals. Oh my god, we actually have water slide decals included with an HG kit, albeit it's with a P-Bandai kit, but man is it a step in the right direction and hopefully a sign of things to come. To see water slide decals included with every single Bandai Gundam kit would be fantastic and that's the dream. To have them at least in every P-Bandai kit would be nice as well and we do get them sometimes in P-Bandai Master Grade kits, but very, very rarely in P-Banda HGs, so that's really, really nice to see. Getting into the runners, then we've got PC-001 for some polycaps here in gray, SB-13 for our clear pink beam saber effect parts here, and runner A is in four colors, one clear bluish green part there for the visor, a couple of yellow parts up there, orange, a really nice orange here, very reminiscent color scheme to the Power to Gym, actually, and then our white, sort of off-white, slightly kind of tannish white color here for the main color of the mobile suit. The runner marking for this is also going to be HD 144 scale gym, interestingly enough, but with the year of 2022 here for this one. Runner B here is going to be all of our inner frame, joint, and hand type parts here in a nice medium gray color. And interestingly, the runner label for this one is HD 144 scale MS frame. Runner C is in that same medium gray color here, but as you can see, it's definitely parts there for like the backpack and the weapons mostly. Interestingly, this one is also marked for the gym, but this rifle especially, I believe, is the same rifle as with the origin version of the Gundam, I believe, but uh, maybe just other parts are different, so that's why it's kind of a little bit different marking here for this one. You can see we have a, an alternate rifle included as well, but we'll take a look at all that here in just a moment. Runner D we have two of, and then runner E1 as well is gonna be all of our parts here in that same off-white color that we saw on the A runner, so all those armor pieces. And then runner H, in fact, is going to be from the HG, the origin version of the Gundam here for the backpack cannon, essentially these parts here, which are also so once again in that medium gray color 2017 for the year for this one and that's it for all the runners 
All right, guys, and here is the kit all built up. Always love building an Origin HD. I know, once again, this is not actually technically an Origin HD, but I mean, kind of basically the same kind of vein to that. And it's been a while since I've built one, I feel like, and they're really, really great. So fantastic details on here. I love the design, the proportions on it, the color separation's all really nice. They really are some of the best that you can get in the HD line, and this is no exception. We have some really cool accessories here with this one, even though it is the gym, which we typically kind of think of as kind of like, low accessories kind of very basic right we do have some really cool stuff in here so we'll get into all that here in just a second pretty minimal on the stickers as well for an hg which is always nice so we got a pretty good package all around let's go ahead and take a closer look in greater detail starting off with the hands we've got some nice options here with this one so we've got our standard holding hands there and then we got trigger finger hands for both the left and the right side and we do have two weapons so you can actually use both of these at the same time if you so choose and then we've got open hands for both the left and the right side as well. And these again can be used as open hands or they can be used as rifle support hands, however you might want to use those. And again, it's really nice to have these for both the left and the right side, it's quite unusual. The next up we've got the shield, which is a really cool new shield design. The connection for the back can be moved up and down like that, up and down on the track. This is gonna plug onto the back of the arm. You can see we have a nice, somewhat complex for an HG mechanism here for mounting the shield onto the arm. Also the handle can be held in the hand here on the front if you want to use that but I really like the shield design how you know it's very you know kind of similar and basic for a gym shield but it's a little bit different in design than what we're used to kind of like the kit itself I mean it looks like a gym for all intents and purposes but there's a lot of small differences in the design that do kind of make it quite unique looking now we have the beam rifle from the origin Gundam which is a really cool beam rifle design I really like this a lot the camera there on the back will move like so. We have a sticker for the camera on the front. We have a secondary handle here on the front as well, which will pop out to the side there like that for doing a two-handed grip. We also have a little peg here on this side, which will pop out for mounting this, for storing it onto the back skirt right there. Plug it onto there like that when not in use, so that's really nice. And then we have the beam spray gun early type, this sort of SMG looking sort of weapon, which is again, it's based, supposed to be an early type of the beam spray gun, but I mean, it looks totally different. It looks a lot more interesting, I feel like. This one also has a little camera sticker on it right there underneath. And again, very cool design here for this. For both of these, you can see they do also have a little tab in the handle, so you can get a really nice secure lock there in hand, and that's on both the left and the right side. Because these are actual trigger finger hands and you have the trigger guard and everything like that, you should have no problems having a nice firm grip on the handheld weapons. Now we do also of course have the beam saber handle just stored up there in the backpack. We've got two of these beam saber effect parts. You only really need one, but I'll come back to, I'll put an asterisk on that and come back to it in just a moment. The over the shoulder cannon is also gonna be the same as the HG Origin Gundam. It's gonna work the same way, although it, the connection for it, I do have a little bit of an issue with this. It's because I feel like the peg is not quite long enough I do wish that that was a bit longer just so this would be a bit more stable it stays in there totally fine and it's not gonna come out but as you can see when you push this on it kind of makes like a weird gap there it shouldn't be all the way into the side like that there shouldn't be that gap that you guys are seeing right there this should be flush like that it's kind of tricky when you push that in you have to push on the right part so that it doesn't make that weird gap there. Anyway, that's it for all the official accessories, but some of the leftover parts in here I feel are particularly noteworthy. Here on the side of the arm, you kind of have that little uh, machine gun there on the forearm. You have that part for this side, so if you wanted to have that on both sides, you can do that. Or if you don't want to have that on either side, you have an option part, which is the same here for the left side without the gun kind of added there on the side of the arm so you can have it either as one way or the other you can choose there so the nice options for that you also have this part here which as far as i can remember i believe this part goes here on the back skirt for storing the beam saber handles in there because we do have a second beam saber handle which you could put in there and that one in there as well. You could put something else up over here on this shoulder, add a second shoulder cannon if you want. These shoulder cannon parts could be attached on either to the left or the right side. Uh, they can be symmetrical, it's not specific to this side. So if you have two of the kit or if you also have the Origin Gundam, you could take the shoulder cannon from that and put it over here on this side of the backpack. And on that note, if you wanted to have the beam sabers, like two beam sabers and no cannon on this, you could opt for that too. This is the beam saber connection part that you could put right there. You could put our second beam saber handle that we have 
here. You can put that up onto the other side, like I said, or put both the beam sabers attached into this piece right there on the back skirt. One more thing to note is we do have two more of these little thruster bells here, which are just nice extra parts to have. So just make sure you hang on to those, put those in your spare parts bin. They're great for uh, custom builds and stuff like that. We have five of them here on the backpack. This one's on the side, don't move, but the ones facing backwards is in the center one. And then these two right here, can also move, they're just on little ball joints, so those will move a little bit around like that. So to continue on with the articulation here, the head itself, if you bend the neck kind of forward and then up like that, you can get a really nice far upward looking motion there in the neck, which is nice. Otherwise, it kind of just looks down normally like so. In the torso section, a really nice ab crunch there to the front with a kind of ugly separation there on the back, but that does move to the front and then to the back a little bit like so. You can also extend that to the side slightly and then obviously rotation, not gonna be any issue there. The shoulder joint will swing to the front like so. You can then bring the arm up. If we extend this upwards, just in that ball joint, but aside from being in the ball joint, the whole uh, like socket part that the ball joint fits into will also move out. So that will allow you greater than if it was just only a ball joint, you'd only be able to get the arm up to about like 90 degrees. But because that part extends out, you can actually bring the arm up a little bit higher, which is pretty nice. Rotation there at the top of the arm, a double joint for the elbow, and then the wrist is just on a ball joint. So some really nice movement there with all those parts. The front skirts are molded together, but you can just snip them apart really easily. They actually just come apart quite easily uh, for individual movement of the front skirts. The side skirts will move up and down a little bit, but not too much. You can see there's a mounting point on there, although I don't remember exactly what for. There's nothing that you can use uh, with that with this kit. The back skirts around here are just fixed. And then if we take a look at the hip joint underneath, this is the type of hip joint that will swing to the front, which will allow you greater articulation of the leg up into the front like this to bring that up pretty high. We have a double joint and very nice separation of this knee armor right here. When we bend that knee, it's a little bit stiff, but you can get a full 180 degree bend there out of that and some really nice separation of this really nicely detailed knee armor right there. Moving down to the ankles then, this front ankle armor is just attached via a ball joint kind of there in the front. So that'll wiggle around a little bit. Your ankle itself, the foot can be moved side to side quite far there, so really nice range of movement. With that, you can get a really, really, really wide stance and keep the feet flat on the ground, which is good. Up underneath the feet, full detail there. You can move the foot up, and then as you can see there, I was gonna keep that as a surprise for you guys, but there's a little toe bend as well, which is also pretty awesome, especially for like an HG kit. So you can bring that up to the front, down like that. I wish the ankle, uh, the foot could point a little bit further down for your flying in space poses, but Otherwise, really, really nice movement all around here. Oh, and I almost forgot at the back of the leg, we've got this little hatch here. If I can get it open, that pops out and you've got an extra little thruster right there inside the back of the calf, which is also very cool. Uh, a quick point about some of the other details about this. I mentioned about the stickers. So we have stickers for the head camera. You saw for the cameras on the weapons as well. The head cameras, that's pretty normal for an HG kit. Other than that, we have stickers for the joints, the elbow joints, right there, the knee joints right here, and then the ankle joints right there. Very optional because I feel like I kind of would like that to be in just the same kind of off-white color rather than this darker gray anyway, but if you wanted that to be in the darker gray color, very easy to just paint those details in if you didn't want to use the stickers for that. And then overall, basically no seam lines on this kit because everywhere where you do have seam lines, it's just made up as a panel line. So like here on the arm, here on the front of the forearm, down here on the leg as well. The front piece is covered, but on the back, you would have a panel line right there, but it's just made up as a, you would have a seam line there, I'm sorry, but it's just made up as a panel line. So you don't need to worry about any of those, which is nice. Maybe a little bit of a seam like here on the rifle on both uh, weapons, you have a little bit of a seam that you may want to just get rid of on those but again it's just a small part of the weapons which is pretty good for an hg kit so overall really cool kit like i said normally when we think of the gym you think of it to be kind of bare bones in terms of the accessories but you have some really nice options here with this with the added over the shoulder cannon and aside from the early type beam spray gun you have the addition of the gundam type beam rifle in there so you have some nice weapon options and then you have some really good options in terms of just leftover parts for customizing this if you want so if you do happen to get more than one or if you have some other uh, kind of gym 
kits from the line or, or like I said, the Origin HG Gundam kit or something, for example, you have some nice option parts in here that you can use kind of mixing and matching. So definitely hang on to the leftovers that you have with this kit because they're all actually quite useful. It's not like just a random part for a knee joint or something like that. So all of that coupled with a really nicely detailed design on the exterior and under the hood, even though it doesn't have like a full inner frame or anything like that, of course, all of the engineering is what I'm referring to uh, is also very nice in that this kit, like all the other kits in the line, and I'm referring to the, the HD, the Origins line, but again, kind of it's all sort of in one of the same. They are all really nicely articulated and they pose really nicely as well. They look great when they're posed. It doesn't come with an action base, but I would certainly recommend getting an action base. There's certainly plenty of poses that you could do with this kit just on the ground, so you don't really need one, but of course, to really utilize all the awesome articulation that you have with this kit, you might as well get an action base with it. So, and as if that was not enough, we do also have the addition of the water slide decals included with this, which as I said during the unboxing, is pretty uncommon, especially for an HG kit. So definitely a lot of really good things to say about this one. So definitely check it out if you guys are interested. If you're a fan of the design, of course, then this is one that I can highly recommend for you guys. It's a shame that it was a P-Bandai release, so it's not gonna be as easily accessible. But if you guys wanna do check out some other Gunpla or anything else from Bandai, you can check the link in the video description below to USA Gundam Store. We've got all sorts of cool stuff there for you guys. Unfortunately, not this particular kit, but all sorts of other cool stuff, and particularly a lot of kits from the HD The Origin line, which I've been talking about, which is a line that I just can't recommend enough. So definitely check those out. Thank you guys so much, as always, for all of your support, liking the video, commenting, subscribing. It really helps out a lot and I really appreciate it guys. Thank you so much. Until next time, hope y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.